Hey singers, I'm Amber Maud Cathy here at Nashville Vocal Studio, and today I am giving you a complete vocal warm up that should take you right around 10 minutes. I'm going to go through all of the exercises today, and then I'm going to play them so you can work them up and down your range. If you would like an audio version of this that you can just have on your phone or your device, hit play and sing along with from beginning to end. You will find that in the description. You just put in your email address and I will send that directly to you. We are gonna jump right in with sliding fifths, that just means five notes apart, on the SOVT, that stands for semi-occluded vocal tract exercise, which is a really fancy way to say, partially closed mouth, exercise of your choice. You can use anything here. You can use a straw into water if you've seen that before. I have some uh, videos here on my channel about that. But I'm gonna give you three different options today. And then when you go to do this and work on your own or you go to grab that audio version and sing along, you can use whatever semi-occluded vocal tract sound works for you. For today, I'm going to say you can either use a lip trill, if you need help with that, finger, finger where your dimples would go. And you're going to gently press in and up. Or you can use a hum with your tongue out. Or a smiley V like va, va, va. I like to do it with a tiny smile. You can feel a lot of buzz and resonance here. Choose one of those three sounds or feel free to choose something else that works better for you. And we're gonna work this up and down. Ooh, I was right on. We're gonna start right around where this should work for every voice type. You might be in this octave. You might be in this octave. That's okay. Because this is a one size fits all and one size does not fit all, I want you to jump in where it feels good. If it doesn't feel good, if I'm getting too high, too low, jump out. That's okay, jump out and jump back in when we're back to a place that feels good for you. Again, you're gonna choose the semi-occluded vocal tract exercise of your choice. We're looking at a lip trill, a smiley V or a hum with your tongue out on a sliding fifth. Here we go. job. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stick with the semi-occluded vocal tract sound. You can use the exact same one that you just used if it feels good for you, or I like to switch it up. So if I used a lip trill for my last exercise, maybe this is a great time for me to do a smiley V or a hum with my tongue out or move to any other semi-occluded vocal tract exercise and sound that you would like, like a straw in water, a straw in air, a blowfish, a raspberry, a tongue trill, whatever works for you. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take that sliding fifth, we're going to expand the range a bit to an octave, and instead of a slide, we're actually going to articulate the notes. So one, three, five, eight, five, three, one. Again, you can be in whatever octave works for you, and you can start where it feels good for your voice. If this is too low, that's okay, you can jump in later, but let's get going. for you. 
little bit higher on this one. Again, based on what works for your voice. exercises get our voice connecting those vocal folds connecting get them vibrating get blood flow to the vocal folds get them stretching ready for more athletic activity and then get some nice resonance or tension release in other areas depending on what exercise or what semi-colluded vocal tract sound that you choose to use the next thing we're going to do is do an exercise i call floppy jaw it looks ridiculous as you probably saw many of those sobts look you're just going to relax your tongue it's not going to move so kind of pretend like you've gone to the dentist it's been hit with novocaine bleh, and your jaw's gonna flop and we're gonna sing like that we're gonna keep that same octave pattern but this time we're gonna ramp it up again just a little bit and we're gonna re-articulate the top note four times so it sounds like this we're getting these articulators woken up and we're releasing any tension that we might want to get rid of in the jaw and in the tongue here we go isolating your low in. So we ended uh, pretty low for most of us and many of us. Now we're going to work in strengthening that area. The muscle that's responsible for those low notes is a mus muscle that makes your vocal folds thicken and get shorter. So working that muscle not only helps you hit lower notes, but it helps you have more power throughout your voice. Then we're going to do the flip side and work the muscle that makes our vocal folds elongate and thin out. That gives us better upper register, better high notes and more flexibility and agility throughout our range and we're going to end this warm-up with everything nice and connected with a register connect exercise where we work from the bottom of the top of our range and back with one connected voice which is what we have and what we what we hope to feel like and sound like that we have so you're either going to be here or you might be here this is very much based in speech i want you to just say yo 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 we're going to sing just like that. Basically speak on pitch. Yo, yo, yo. I like to think of somebody kind of across the way from me because I want a pretty big full volume here without any pushing or pulling or manipulating here. We never want to do that. So I just kind of think about somebody across the street from me and I'm going to call out to them. If you start to work on this and you find that you are going, yo, yo, hear how that is very much not working, that same shortening, thickening muscle. Yo, yo, 
Yo, very much based on speech. Here we go. Yo, 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 yo. Just calling to somebody across the street from you. Yo, yo, yo. So that's working that low end, very speech level, speech quality aspect of your voice. Now we're going to go the total opposite and we're going to work the upper end, nice and stretchy. So we're going to start with a vocal siren. Woo! No specific pitches, just a nice bottom, top, bottom. Kind of think about the vocal folds as a little rubber band and we just did this with them. We're then going to take that siren and we're going to put it between two pitches, a third that just means three notes apart and it sounds like this. Again, you're at your octave. Nice rounded move vowel. Jump in, jump out where you need to. If you are a lower voice and you're an octave below me, this isn't that high for you. If you're an upper voice like me, you're getting high. <laughs> Some of you can go higher, so let's do it. A couple more. Round a do vowel. Keep that upper register, quote unquote, head voice quality for as long as you can. Even if you can mix here, that's not what we're doing in this exercise. We are going to end this workout with a register connect exercise. What that means to me is that I'm using one voice, just like the two vocal folds I have that connect and stretch to make sound. There's not a break. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for smooth and connected throughout. So register connect and mix voice for me are quite similar. When I say a mix voice exercise, I'm talking about kind of living in that break and bridge and passaggio area. And for this, we're just going to do an NG, like the word sing, sing, 
right. Feel that nasally sound so your mouth can be open or closed. There's no sound coming out of the mouth. We're going to spread out over an octave and we're not really worried about registration. We're worried about one connected sound, getting that nice resonant buzz, whether you hear it, feel it both, so that we are able to jump in and sing whatever we want from here. Hopefully your voice is feeling good. So we're going to do this pattern over an octave again. But I want to make it a little more challenging. We're going to add in a couple more notes coming down so that it challenges your agility a little bit more. So we're going to do one, five, eight, up, seven, five, three, two, one on the word sing. So it sounds like this. Sing. Here we go. Sing. Let's do a few down first. Sing. That your voice is feeling good. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and then remember you can get the audio only version of this that you can just hit play, sing along with whenever you want, as many times as you want, down in the description of this video. Please come back often. Happy singing.